Hey guys, welcome back to my episode 25 review of Sword Art Online, the finale. Also, the mines were wrong, but big whoop. We all knew this. Or, guessed. <laughs> anyway, um, sorry if you can hear rain in the background. It's freaking pouring over here. But I'm going to get this done, because i got to go places. So, uh, the episode starts off with Kirito rushing to Asuna in the hospital, and he's imagining the worst possible scenarios. Like, she totally flatlined and shit. So, yeah, that's good. Um, <laughs> not the best thing to imagine while you're riding your bike there, but he can't help it. It's, it's, it's gonna happen. Or the thoughts of that are gonna happen. Anyway, when he gets to the hospital grounds, Sugo is waiting there for him. Total freak. I still hate this guy. And... At this point, I was slightly worried, because this guy is a total killer. Like, you can tell he's psychotic, and he will kill people. And in the real world, he's a total threat. In the game, not so much. In the real world, you can actually die. So yes, he is a real threat. Even if it's a minor one. You still have a percent to die. So, a chance to die. And, anyway, they have a little struggle, a little fight, and Kirito gets the weapon from him. And... He is having this moment, it's like this little angel-devil moment, like, you know, on the shoulders. Should I kill him? Yeah, you should kill him, he's a total douchebag. Should I let him live? Because then you might not get to see Asuna. So, he's wagering that, and of course he goes with the angel choice, and does not kill him. He, he um, lets him go to marinate in his own puddle of urine. And then he goes to see Asuna. So... And then, uh, they, you know, they meet, and apparently a side effect from all that long-term um, time in the nerve gear, with the nerve gear helmet, um, she's kind of, like, hearing impaired. Or not deaf, but just hard of hearing. Anyway, um, they get to... Oh, uh, they flash they flash forward to, uh, I don't know, a couple months uh, later... And so they're in school, and techno technology is advanced, and they got built-in iPads into the desk, and you upload your files to your teachers, and I thought that was really forced. Yes, we get it. It's the future. Calm down. Um, anyway, fortunately, it's also a happy-ass ending for the other three 299 Sal mm -hmm. players that were in <clears throat> Alfheim. And uh, they return to society with no neurological damage, no memory of the experiments, how convenient. But, I, st I don't care. It, it was okay. Also, at this point, you'd think people don't want to play these MMOs anymore. They're freaking crazy. They got a bad rap. Who'd be crazy enough to play these anymore? But, um, I'll get on to that later in this review. Anyway, we... Oh yeah, we also see Liz and, well, every other character, but we first see Liz and she's all pressed against the glass like... They should, I hate this, so they should not be so close to each other, they shouldn't act like this in school. I was cracking up, and I'm like, bitch, I've seen way worse stuff in high school. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> it's just a funny moment. And also she has brown hair, so she did customize her color to pink in the game. Anyway, they head to the bar, Agil's bar, where he's the bartender and serving up rounds, and, um... We learn a little more about the seed and what it was, and apparently it was given to Agil, where he uploaded it, and tons of people now have it. And um, with the seed, you can create your own game, uh, your own online world, whatever you want, I guess. And Ale or Alfheim is still up and running with a different company. So at that point, I was like, okay, so not so much of a bad rap anymore with these MMOs. They're not as insane, but we don't know yet. Anyway, other games, other companies began to make other games, and at this point, um, if a player creates a character in one game, they can cross-transfer to another. I thought that was really neat. So, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> anyway, um, when they actually get into uh, Alfheim, everybody's there. Kirito, Asuna, Lifa, um, they, the, and the others, they're all in there. And then the Arancrad castle comes into view over the moon. So the scene comes to an end, and they fly off to it, and 
they finish what so many they're going to finish what so many of them started. So overall, guys, it, it was a decent ending. It, I don't think it was the best. It wasn't the worst. It was decent. So, of course, I wasn't satisfied because I don't want it to end. And a uh, totally new experience with a, an airing season ending. Never done. Never watched airing anime like I've been saying. But um, the way it ended, it could I it could set up for a second season whether it be Gun Gale Online or completing the original Sword Art Online story arc, um, it does look slightly possible. At first, um, when people said, you know, when this is over, they're going to go back to Sal, I was like, skeptical, how are they going to set that up? But um, with this, I can kind of see it. So, it's kind of an agnostic moment. You, And by that, I mean, you don't think there's going to be a second season, but you don't know. So it's it's possible, but it seems very unlikely because his stats have been reset. We're not going to want to watch him go through it again. We wanted to see where he would have picked off um, at floor 76 or 75, whatever it was. So it it's, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. I'd like to see a second season, either Gun Gale or Sword Art Online, but I don't know how they do it exactly with Sword Art Online. I don't know how they'd make it interesting, because both villains are dead, so I don't know how they'd do it. But, um, it looks like that's it, guys. That's the end of Sword Art Online, and now I'm gonna just keep watching the other Aaron anime that I am watching. I'm watching Little Busters and uh, Sakurasau no Pet Kanojo. They're both okay. Little Busters is, like, pretty good, and Kanojo is... It's okay. Anyway, um, check those out if you haven't heard of them. Maybe you'll like them. Anyway, um, that's it for this review. I might do an overall series review later on. I don't really know. But that is it so far for my reviews on this series. And I enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. And if you like this video, like it. If you're not subscribed, you can subscribe. Take care, guys. Bye.